In this problem, we're being asked to find the derivative solution. So the first thing we have to do is maybe rewrite all of these square roots as x to the 1 half. Because if you have the square root of x, you can write that as x to the 1 over 2. Right, there's a 1 here and there's a 2 here, and you can always do that. So first, let's rewrite it. So y is equal to parentheses x plus parentheses x plus x to the 1 half. 1 half, ridiculous, <laughs> 1 half. Let me pause here for a moment and let's check that. So this outside square root gives us this 1 half here. And then this square root here gives us this 1 half here. And then we have a little baby square root on the inside. All right, so now we're going to use the chain rule like crazy. <laughs> so y prime, so all of this is the inside function. So we're going to take the 1 half and we're going to put it in the front. So that's 1 half parentheses x plus, and then we have this other stuff here, still on the inside, just rewriting it, leaving it untouched. And then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So all we've done is we've taken the derivative of the outside. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x is 1 plus, and then now we have to take this derivative. So we have to use the chain rule again. So put the 1 half in the front, leave the inside untouched. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x is 1, ridiculous. And then this derivative here, it's 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Uh, and then you close it, right? And then you need another parentheses, right, to close this one. Pretty, pretty wicked. Okay, I guess the last thing to do uh, is, um, well, I guess that's it. I mean, you could stop here, or you could probably rewrite it. I really don't want to rewrite this, so I'm just going to stop here, and yep, that's it. <laughs> Good stuff. Hope that made sense.